big girl. Oh, What's up, everyone? You're watching The Drop. I'm Cynthia Lucia. And I'm Jay Snow. So the music app title that was recently launched by Jay-Z, Beyonce, and a few other mega artists was a big flop. Flop! Flop right. city, chick. Flop. Like, it flopped flop, hard. Flop. Yeah, flop it was a very hard. big flop. Not many people fucked with it at all. No. If you're not familiar with what Tidal is, it's a music streaming site, very similar to, like, Pandora or Spotify. Interestingly enough, during, like, the press conference, they were like, those apps aren't as good as Tidal, join ours, and that just kind of backfired and gave them more press. Right, that catapulted Spotify and Pandora into the number three and four spot of the top 700 apps to download. And Tidal isn't even in the top 700 apps to download. At all. All these big stars and nobody's fucking with it. Here's why, let's talk about the why. First of all, the press conference was all the way fucked up. It was just a weird energy, Alicia Keys wasn't hitting her lines right. I think all of us collectively in this room are feeling the same kind of energy. I know all of us right here, up here are saying, wow, like look at this, look how we can do this, you know? And they didn't really make it seem like it was about the consumer. They were like, you know what, we need more money. We ain't getting enough for these streaming services. They didn't even play music at the streaming. Which press is conference. weird. They're like, it's all about the music. And then while they're signing it, it's just completely quiet. The most interesting thing was like Madonna trying to straddle the deck. Right, Kanye West was there. Throw an <laughs> instrumental on while niggas is walking off stage. Yeah. Here's why I think it didn't work. One, it's way too expensive. In order to get the highest quality of music, because there's levels, you have to pay about $30 a month, which right. is just way more than other streaming sites. Now, they try to make up for it like this is just exclusive content. That just turned me off to it. It's like, you think you could just put Nicki Minaj and Beyonce and Jay-Z on stage and you all just go get 30 bucks a month from me? That's kind of cocky. I didn't it's like it. It's extremely cocky. It wasn't enough explanation. It was just no. like, we here, this is what we did. Y'all gonna follow it. They didn't really do a huge launch. They weren't going around really trying to get people into it. They were just like, we got the star power. Y'all are sheep. I'm not. And the downfall continues because they let go of their CEO already, already and replaced them. Now they're trying to think of another game plan to get people back interested in the title. So Jay-Z and Beyonce are rumored to be dropping a conjoined album. And the funny thing about that is it could possibly leak on other streaming sites as a good fuck you. <laughs> we still got your album. I need a Beyonce and Jay-Z joined the album, I need it. But I need it on an app that doesn't crash. People were talking about how bad the search is. Right. They were trying to find Blueprint and they couldn't find it. And it's like, how can you not find Jay-Z's Jay -Z's own album on his own app? I'm not paying $30 a month. It is what it is. It's like you guys wanted this, but you went about it the wrong way and it didn't resonate with people. It's crazy. Who would have thought? Times have changed. I mean, back then, if you'd have had like Whitney Houston and Michael Jackson, all these people come together, it'd have been like, the world stops. Right. But now we're so used to so much input all the time. It's like, I saw Tidal and I didn't even bother to look it up until two weeks after. I was like, See, oh, they all doing some shit. Labels and other streaming services control your money that way, but the consumers control it when it comes to social media and yeah. apps and shit. So yeah. you gotta tend to them. Yeah. You gotta tend to our needs. Now here's the thing, if they would have come at it in a different way, like this is more for the consumers, like you don't understand, we'd wanna put out more music, but our labels because of the release date or because of the high demand or whatever, like we wanna give you guys more music. It didn't come off like that. No. It came off like we want more money from y'all. And it's like Beyonce, you got my money when you dropped the surprise right. album. Like you, you get money you're from me. You're driving Lambos, you're on a yacht after this. I don't feel bad for you. Now as the title was Wave is crashing and burning, people are starting to jump ship. Even Kanye West deleted tweets that he had for Tidal yeah. when they launched. I mean, I'm sure Beyonce, you know, the down ass B I T C H that she is, I'm sure that she's gonna write it out to the end with Jay, like, nah, ho, we can still make it work. That's her, we gonna make it work. We gonna make it work. I mean, if anybody could bring Tidal out of the ashes, it would be Jay-Z and Beyonce. I just think they haven't adapted to the 2015 way of things. They're very much still like, Old we school. are the superstars and you all just follow. But it's like, you gotta understand when you have these other celebrities directly like connecting with their fans and being more involved at different times. You gotta make it about the consumer, man. You want people to fuck with you, make it about the consumer. Meanwhile, Kim Kardashian app is booming because right. you can buy clothes and makeup. Right, now Beyonce, Beyonce has to be nicer to Kim Kardashian because it's like, oh, you want to step in my lane? I don't want to say it's good because, you know, it's like I don't ever want to hate and I want people to be successful. But it's kind of like when you see all these huge stars come together and then everybody's just like, nah, fuck you. We ain't fucking with y'all. It's kind of like, damn. I mean, they had Jay-Z, Beyonce, they, Nicki Minaj, Rihanna. They had white people. They had Daft Punk. Like They had everybody. everybody. They had a country singer. First of all, Daft Punk and Deadmau5 probably weren't even fucking there. They yeah. could have 
totally sent body doubles with the masks on and was like, nigga, stand there and don't say shit, just sign this and bounce. Well, with that being said, do you think title can be saved? If so, what can save title? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure you subscribe to All Deaf Digital and share this video with your friends. I'm Cynthia Lucia. And I'm Jay Snow. You're watching See you the drop. tomorrow. We got that though. We did that. We did it. We Should we do it do. again? No. I'm Okay. I'm Cindy Lucia. And I'm Jay Snow. And I always win.